finally at the top, it's a 16 century coaching house in autumn, just down the road from the uh, chain dock. And we're going to do our little paranormal ale. Neil, scan the room, check out all these old artifacts. What have we got here? Look at all this. You've even got that old game there, John, not remember that? Oh yeah, it's like a, what's it, 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 it bar billiards? Yeah. Bar billiards, yeah. Bar billiards. And then you got this, you got like an old piano. Ding, diggy, ding, 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 diggy, ding, 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 ding. We could have been there, it is that we wanted to be. The decision is ours, yeah. Without it, we couldn't live without it. We are the best at being good. Ding, 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 ding. We could have been anything that we wanted to be. It is to be We could be You're the rest of me good. Yeah. It's time for a paranormal aisle with yours truly, Orange. What we got here, we got Madri, which is John from Madrid. But they took the day off for some reason, I don't know what it is. Madrid does sound right, does it? You know what I mean? Have a point to Madrid, please. You know what I mean? It's 4.6, and it's a lovely lager. I must admit, it's just one of the lagers that I do really enjoy. It's a nice drink, nice crisp flavour. Fantastic. It's got a bit of body as well, eh? A bit like me. Full bodied. Crisp flavour. And a nice white head. <laughs> a nice white head. <laughs> Can't beat it, mate. For a lager, then you've got like your, your pints of piss, which is Carly. And then you've got your Fosters, which is like half piss, half beer. And then you've got your Coors, which is acceptable. And then you've got Stella. And you've got this. I reckon about four, at the lagers, 4.8 out of five. Four point, you can't get better than that. You can't get better, than, well you can. Get five out of five. You can get five out of five. Oh, Cheers, Orange. We're I'm off to the Shined Oak Park. So we've just, uh, we're just uh, leaving the Talbot. Cracking pub, ain't he? Fantastic. Mm. We just spoke to the landlady, 16th century coaching house. Um, now we're gonna off, we're gonna go off now to the, uh, the Chained Oak and do a little bit of a, a scouting mission. Myths and legends of England. Uh, Orange, you ready? Yeah. In the woods, you know what you like in the woods. Yeah, I've got Jackie Boy. Jackie Boy's driving, are you, pal? I'm driving. Jack the Hat McVitie. We've got the um, the love child of John Lennon sat in the back there. And there we got Orange there, Neil. <laughs> you know what you like in the woods in the dark? No. Every time. One of those branches break. One of your family are gonna suffer. Thanks for that, Orange. Really appreciate that. Yeah, so we're off. We're off to the Chain Dog, and we'll see you lot in a bloody bit. So we're down here, the chain dock is somewhere around here. Let's hope we don't meet that gypsy woman now. It's lovely seeing out the Blair Witch. Funny thing is, obviously Neil has not got one iota of sense of direction. He has just walked past the biggest tree in the forest, covered in chains. Unbelievable. <laughs> Neil! You've walked straight past him. There's only not one or two chains left. Oh, there's another one around the corner. Yeah, so we finally got to the chain <laughs> out. Orange is uh, blown away because he's, he's listened to this story for years, eh, Paul? Yeah. <clears throat> he, uh, 
it's pretty awesome, you know. The fact that there's a this chain, even the tree is growing around the chains, that's how old it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who's put the chains up there? I have no idea. The chain gang. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, brilliant. Come and check it out, people. Piece of history. Now we know about the history of the tree and the chains and the curse. Is there any paranormal activity here you can actually come and let us know or anything like that? Come and chat to us or whatever. We've come a long way. Ten minutes from the pub. Got done. Got old five for set up. Oh the batteries have gone. That's fucking fully charged us. Let's have a look at this. I can put the thing back on. That's crazy. That was fully charged us. Yeah. Can't hear nothing at all, obviously. Yep. Oh, it's low. It's low battery. Gone. Empty. I only charged that today. Well, <coughs> it might be worth just charging it at home and then turning Neil, it on. Neil, you're just looking like you're hanging on for dear life, eh, kid? No, just, you know, just, just chilling chill out, just relax, eh? Like the chain gang. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, you know, we've just, uh, we've just done 10 minutes with the S Box. We've only saw a little bit of it. Obviously, nothing's come through. Um, but again, batteries just died. Things like that baffle me. They do baffle yeah. me, Neil. I could put that on in, in my house for hours on end. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and nothing, it, yeah. it, it, it'd be playing forever. You bring it to some kind of a haunted location, as it were, before you know it, it dies in seconds. Yeah. Crazy. Mm. You know, I'm surprised this camera's still up. Mm. You wouldn't. <laughs> Neil, talking about his dogging days. No. <laughs> now try and find the chains what are, what are actually growing into the tree is there any energies around us now that can make a noise for us snap some branches or no I don't think so. or walk up the path be great if the, uh, the chains could uh, start swinging that'd be great wouldn't it we're talking about the curse, the curse of this tree. If there's any energies around us at this moment who hang around the tree and kind of uh, protect it, as it were, come and tell us to uh, to leave you be. Quite peaceful, ain't really? Mm, to yeah. be fair, you know, we, we come here to do kind of a, <clears throat> like a mini investigation or anything like that. But I'm just fascinated by the history yeah. and the folklore and the myth and stuff like that. You know, more than actually any paranormal stuff when it comes to places like this. So there you go, the chain now. It's, it's an amazing location. You know, it, it, it's full of history and stuff. You can't beat places like this. You know, have a day out, go to a nice. Uh, haunted 16th century pub, have a couple of paranormal ales and come and check out a location like this in the dark. It doesn't get better than that. Things like this do fascinate me to be honest. I mean, you know, why has a tree got steps? You know I mean, why has a tree got the steps going down? Not so many branches the neck, John. Yeah, but Neil, look how old them steps are. They're older than um, Steps the Bop group. Some solid stuff. Is there a padlock on there? There is a job. 
Maybe because this branch is not attached to the tree, I don't know. Or maybe maybe they've chained it off. There's one there as well. That's in the tree, that is. What an amazing. Oh, do you know, I love trees, I do. Maybe this is uh, one that's grown into the tree. There you go, that's, what I've, that's how old it is. The tree has grown round here. How about that? That's superb, that is. Love that. So, we've done about an hour here at the chained oak. Not really an investigation as such. I'm out of breath. Come down the bloody, st bloody steps. You know, I just want to show you some of the uh, kind of the myths and legends of the Midlands and, and local areas. But this place is bloody fantastic. Put the S-Box on, nothing. K2, nothing. S-Box storage straight away, so we're not going to bore you with them details. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Because that's what it's all about. Can't get my breath. Whew! So there you go. We've had a great day. Like I say, if you saw anything in this video, which I doubt it very much, apart from Jack McAvoy coming down the stairs, um, leave it in the comments, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.